No matter where you're from in the world, you've probably heard the stereotypes that the Swedes could be quite a reserved and private bunch. And for that reason, you're not going to be finding them bragging about the things they have in their home or the items and possessions that they own. But what if I was to tell you that if you come to Sweden and you're invited to a Swedish person's house, I can almost guarantee that there are five things that you will find in their home. Yes, because as an international person that's been living here in Sweden for almost three years now, I'm beginning to notice some trends about the kind of possessions that every Swede seems to have in their house. In fact, I recently did a video on that topic and you guys thought that I was right. Most people could recognize that at least four, if not all five of the things, were things that they owned in their home. If you've not seen that video yet, I'll be leaving the link down in the description section. But apparently there were more than five things that every Swede has in their home, and you guys came out in the comment section to tell me. So if you're an international viewer, sit back, relax, and allow me to draw back the curtain of privacy that surrounds the Swedish home. And if you're from Sweden yourself, then this is kind of like a game of possession bingo. So get ready to let me know at the end how many of these things you have in your home in the comment section down below. Should we get started? I think it's time. Number one, and by far the most requested thing in the comment section to that last video was the Osthuvel. For my viewers that don't speak Swedish, of course the Osthuvel is a cheese slicer, and it's something that's super common here in Scandinavia. It's not limited to just Sweden, it's kind of familiar in Norway and Denmark as well, but it's one of those things that you don't always find in other homes around the world. Most, if not all Swedes, will have at least one, if not multiple cheese slicers, and they will present it on the table when you have your frikost buffet, or your breakfast buffet in the morning, We have all sorts of different cheeses and hams and different meats and then that'll be served with bread and when you're going to make your sandwich and compile it together you will reach of course for the cheese grater to get yourself a nice slice of cheese and we've talked before about the fact that slicing cheese here in Sweden is basically like an art form in its own right they're very very particular here in Sweden about the fact that when you cut your cheese you want to make sure you're not creating a ski slope up that huge wedge of cheese they've just bought from Ica so make sure that you use the cheese slicer to help make that a reality Start at the back, work your way forward, and if, like me, you occasionally end up making a bit of a ski slope, go back to the back and correct it by going sideways. Otherwise, you'll find yourself in trouble very shortly. Basically, a surefire way to make sure you are never invited back to that Swedish home again. You've been warned. The second thing that earns its place on this list of the items you will find in every Swedish person's home is an egg cooker. The more I come to think about it, I'm not sure if that's the technical name for this item, but I have to tell you that this egg warmer cooker thing is a contraption that you will find in most, if not all, Swedish homes. The reason for that, of course, is that the egg is a very, very popular cooking item here in Sweden. It's a very popular snack. People often have it at breakfast time, sometime in the evening if they want something small to eat before they go to bed, get that protein in, and they often serve it with some kind of mayonnaise on top if it's some sort of hard-boiled egg, or maybe even caviar. And you know my thoughts on that, so I won't say any more. But if you take what I say verbatim and you accept the fact that in Sweden, lots of people are gonna be asking for an egg as a snack, it is no wonder that you need place for at least eight or maybe even 10 different eggs to cook at the same time so that you can all eat and enjoy your egg at the same time. You don't have to wait one by one like it's some sort of burger van or something. And whilst you're waiting the eight minutes for your egg to cook, you might reach for the traditional Swedish sandwich that I've already mentioned today. And that usually takes the form of a slice of bread and all sorts of different toppings on top. It could be some meats, it could also be some sausage, it could even be some cheese. But before you put the toppings on top, you need to apply a liberal layer of butter. But to get your butter, you get to the third item on my list today. Yes, you guys, because the Swedes have invented a special contraption to help them get their butter or margarine out of the container or the pot that it comes in, and that is the Swedish butter knife. Traditionally wooden, the Swedish butter knife today often comes in plastic and in all sorts of different colors. And it's basically just a very, very blunt knife that you scoop out your butter or margarine with. And I don't really understand why they don't just use a normal knife, but that said, I guess this is more child-friendly and it's quite strong, so it's quite nice to be able to get the butter out and apply that layer on top of your sandwich. It does what it says on the tin. I'd love to hear from my international viewers if you also have a similar contraption in your home country, because where I'm from, we don't have anything like that. We just use a normal knife to get out our butter. So I'd never seen anything like this before I moved here to Sweden. Like I said before, I see the use case for this knife, particularly because here in Sweden, like with the cheese ski slope, they want to make sure that you keep their butter nice and yemped, which basically means flat or balanced or even. And in order to do that, maybe it's easier to do that with this special knife that isn't gonna go in and take a big scoop 
scoop like some sort of digger out of the butter. Before we leave the kitchen, I have to share with you the fourth thing on my list today of the items that you will find in every Swede's home. And this one will not come as any surprise because no matter where you guys are from in the world, you've undoubtedly heard the stereotypes that the Swedes love their coffee. And I'm here today to tell you that that fact is not baseless. In fact, the Swedes are actually shown to be one of the highest drinkers of coffee per capita in the world. And in order to fuel that addiction, they all have a café bigger at home. And for me, the reason that the café bigger deserves a special place on this list is because here in Sweden, it takes a very specific form. Unlike in the rest of the world where maybe we're using capsule-based Nespresso machines or maybe granules, instant coffee like the Nescaf, here in Sweden, almost every single household you go into has a filter-based coffee machine because they want to make sure that their coffee is strong, good quality, and they can make several cups at once. Forgive me if I don't bring our coffee machine into shot for this part of the video. I don't really fancy taking apart my kitchen to have it here in front of me now. But if you've been to a Swedish home before, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Every Swede has a cafe bigger. You need to be able to make the coffee whenever you want it, several times throughout the day, and to offer every single fika opportunity. So it's a staple, and it definitely deserves a place on this list. The fifth and final thing on my list today of the things that every Swede has in their home has actually been behind me this whole video. In fact, it's always behind me. Have you noticed it yet? No, it's not the candles, we did that last time. No, in fact, I'm talking about this shelf contraption. And I don't really know what its official name is, so if you know, let me know down in the comments section below. And I have to admit, I didn't really know that it was so common until I got to the comments of the last video in this series where you guys said to me, this is probably one of the most common things in the Swedish home and it really should have been on my list. Funny enough, it wasn't something that we bought when we moved in, it was actually already here and it was left on the wall when we got this apartment and we decided it's functional, it does its job, it's quite cute and you can fill it with different things so why not keep it but apparently there are millions of other Swedes in the country that have the same idea because you guys are all doing the same thing. I believe this particular shelf is called a string shelf and as I say it's a user recommended moment on my list today. You guys at home told me that all Swedes have these. It's super common in the Swedish household so let me know down in the comments below if you're one of the people that owns one of these. I can see why to be honest because the design is super super minimalist. It is Nordic interior design at its best. Very very classic and timeless. It can work in all sorts of different backgrounds, color palettes, color schemes, it makes a lot of sense and it's stable and easy to put together. Not that I'm trying to earn commission off of it, but you see what I'm saying. It's a common item and it serves its purpose and it's pretty while it's doing it. Why wouldn't you want one at home? And with that, we've reached the end of this list about the five things that you will find in almost any Swedish home in the country. Of course, I appreciate that there will always be exceptions and there's probably some of you guys sitting at home right now thinking, I don't have any of those five things. He didn't mention anything that's common in a Swedish house. If that's you, you need to get down in the comment section down below and let me know what do you have have a home that you think other Swedes also have so that I can maybe add to this list and maybe do a part three at some point in the future. As I say, thank you so much for watching this video. I've really enjoyed having you along for the journey. Let me know how many of these things you have. Let me know if there's anything else that deserves to be on this list. And if you're from international countries and you want to let me know what's coming in your country, you can also do that down in the comment section down below. Let's get the conversation going. I love the dialogue that we have and I'm very, very grateful to all of you for continuing to watch and like and support all of my videos. If you're not subscribed yet, click that button, ring the bell. You'll be the first one to know as soon as I put a new video out. I do that about once a week at the minute, so you do not want to miss next week's video make sure you're subscribed and you'll be ready for it when it comes out until then thank you so much for watching another video i'll see you guys soon and i hope you have a great day whatever you're up to bye guys